Yeah, we are actually taking in a lot more sugar than we think, courtesy of all of those hidden sugars in everyday foods. Yes. Holistic nutritionist Andrea Donsky joins us again to show us yes. exactly where they are lurking. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Dina. Oh my God, packaged foods. So many hidden sugars. It's unbelievable. And you know what's interesting is I spent a lot of time looking at the total amount of sugar. So that's what I wanted yes. to talk about today, whether it's naturally occurring or added. Okay, so that how good? much should we have per day? All right, so this is an interesting stat. According to the Heart and Stroke Foundation, we should be eating no more than 48 grams of sugar a day, which is 12 teaspoons. That's it, 12 that's teaspoons? It. But wait, it gets better. The World Health Organization says we shouldn't eat more than 24 grams, which is six teaspoons a day. Oh my gosh. That's a can it. Of pop has what? Like 43 th grams. Oh. <laughs> so oh you were well gosh. over, well over. I mean, it's interesting, right? That's 24 right there. So this is including naturally occurring sugars that you'd have in, let's say, fruits or what have you. So this is added sugar. Oh, that's only added. This is adder, okay. added sugar. So when it comes to naturally occurring, we're eating about 110 grams of sugar, which is 27 and a half teaspoons a day of sugar of added and naturally occurring a day. Okay, so you, everybody play at home. You're about to put us to the test. Can we spot the hidden sugar? Yes, yeah, so we're going to have fun today and play a game. All right, so we it. are going to start with breakfast. I'm going to show you some options and you are going to tell me the one that has more sugar, meaning if you're trying to lower your sugar intake, which one you would avoid. Okay. All right, so here we've got the traditional bacon, eggs, toast, jam, and our cup of joe with a vanilla caramel creamer. Vanilla option caramel one. creamer. Or we've got option two, a vanilla Greek yogurt with berries, chia seeds, and an herbal tea. Which one has more sugar? See, everything Amy wants to say this has less sugar because it's so healthy. You said yogurt. I mean, look how huge this is. You mentioned vanilla, but I feel like you're tricking me. I feel like this is going to be the one with more hidden sugar. Oh my gosh, Gina, you are so right. Wow. This has 20 grams of sugar. 16 of them comes from the flavored yogurt, okay. which is so popular. So if you take out the flavored yogurt, you swap it for an unflavored, unsweetened, plain yogurt, you'll actually remove 16 grams of sugar. So if you have this without flavor, does it have less sugar than this meal? This will have less sugar. It'll have four grams of sugar because the berries, a half a cup, have about four grams. And then you won't, I mean, if you keep the sugar in, yeah. you'll, you'll be having 20 grams out of your 24 grams that you're allowed today. And you haven't even left the house and you're still in your PJs. Oh my gosh, like, seriously. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. Now, we're talking snacks. You okay, go for so a little snack. You think it's healthy. <laughs> we think rice cakes are healthy because they yeah. have no sugar and no calories. So we've got two options again. You're going to tell me which one has more sugar. We've got a nut butter with a banana small right. banana or we've got a chocolate spread now because all of the nutritionists say this is a great snack so I'm gonna say this one has more sugar all right so I'm gonna reveal they actually have the same oh. amount of sugar Trick question trick question all right so the reason why is because we would think that the chocolate spread has more but bananas have a lot of naturally occurring sugar so if you're trying to have that lower sugar diet you can swap it up for berries because berries are very low in sugar okay. or Get rid of the fruit completely. Keep the nut butter because it has protein and fat. Mm -hmm. And you can also top it with a guacamole, like avocados, Yum. such good fat, or a hummus to give it some protein. And you up the nutritional value of a rice cake. Okay, next we're talking soups. All right, so now we got our lunch, our soup and salad combo. We're trying to stay healthy throughout the day, keep that sugar down. Yeah. We've got two cups of butternut squash soup. I love butternut squash soup. Or two cups of tomato soup. What has more sugar? This again is a tough one. I'm going to say the tomato because I know ketchup has quite a bit of sugar as a condiment. So I'm assuming. I don't know. Is it tomato? More okay, sugar? Okay, so you are absolutely right. It okay. is tomato. And in all the all the packaged tomato soups that I looked at on the shelf, all of them had sugar across the board. They add it because if they're using underripe tomatoes, mm. it's more acidic. So they add sugar, the companies add sugar to mask the flavor. Best thing to do is make your own tomato soup at home. A good tip, though, is cook it thoroughly okay. and then add the sugar at the end to see if you even need it. Because if you have enough, like, garlic, herbs, whatever, you don't need it. You don't and need the butternut it. squash has the naturally occurring sugar. That's right. right. It has okay. 8 grams versus 32 in 2 cups of tomato soup, which is really high. Salad. Are we making the right choices, my friends? Let's see. Okay, so when it comes to salad, super healthy option, but it's what we put on our salad that can make the difference of how much sugar that we're taking in. So here we've got our creamy... Thousand Island dressing okay. versus our oil and vinegar made with balsamic vinegar and olive oil, which has more sugar. Again, I'm going to say the balsamic I know has a ton of sugar. Oh my God, you are so good. You I are listen absolutely to you, Andrea, right. Over the years. You are absolutely right. So two grams of sugar in the Thousand Island versus six grams in two tablespoons of balsamic Shocking. vinegar. Shocking. Shocking. So, and then, you know, a lot of the times we also add dried cranberries, sure. right? which adds another 27 grams in a quarter cup of dried cranberries. So now this salad is over 30 grams of sugar, Who which knew? is so much.
We're going to walk on over to the condiment section. What do we have here? All right, so it's barbecue season. We're going to eat lots of condiments. All right, so we've got bread and butter pickles, we've got mayonnaise, or we've got barbecue sauce. What has more sugar? Barbecue sauce, I'm going to say, has the most sugar. All right, so in this case, it's actually the pickles. The pickles? Three of these pickles have five grams of sugar. Now, I don't know about you. I could eat 15 of them in one sitting. Me too. That would bring me to 25 grams of sugar, which, by the way, is over the amount we're supposed to have for our oh, day. Oh, man. Last but not least, we have some treats. All right, so I was at a trade show last weekend, and these are all low sugar or no sugar oh, products. Thanks. So this is a, this is Lily's. These are chocolate chips and a chocolate bar from Lily's. They use stevia Yum. to flavor it, to sweeten it. This is Smart Sweets. Oh my gosh, gummies! Again, using stevia, tastes just like the real thing. My kids love it, and they are super yummy. This is a Jello alternative and a pudding alternative from Simply Delish. And this is Wheelo, which is a cold press juice, organic oh. that has this one. I mean, I want you to That's try new. this one. It's so yummy. It's brand Wheelo. new. And it's the chia strawberry that has one gram of sugar. And basil. Super yummy. I'm going to try it with you because it is so delicious. Oh, my delicious. gosh, that's refreshing. This says summer all Isn't over it. Isn't it so yummy? Cheers. Mm. So yummy. And we love you. Thank you so much, Andrea Donsky, breakfasttelevision.ca, for all of this and more. Real eye-opener. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with more BT right after this.